So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. iOS 14 on iPhone SE, the original iPhone SE from 2016. Now when I first heard this phone was gonna get this update, I was extremely excited because this phone came out over four years ago and uh, well, it has a pretty good processor still. A9 is not a bad CPU. It's not the fastest out there, but it's not a bad one. Let me confirm to you that we are on 14 right here. You can see in Geekbench, iOS 14 right there as you can also see the widgets on the four inch screen here of the apple iphone se so i plan to do this plus a couple other older iphones to see how they run so stay subscribed for that or if you haven't already be sure to click that subscribe button down below and thumbs up if you enjoy the video so the first thing i want to do is just some general look at the performance do we get any lag here on the home screens when going through them and you can see, no, not really, not really any lag here. Even going over to the app library, we don't get any delay really on this first beta here for the iPhone SE on iOS 14, which is pretty sweet here for being that this phone is a little bit older here. And I think what's really neat about this is that you have widgets on a phone that's four inches. That's pretty cool, I think. I mean, most phones, you need the space to put widgets, but this one really small, and you can still do widgets with one thumb. Pretty sweet. So let's go over back to the app library and see if we do get any lag when going through this list here. And you can see no real lag here going through the list of applications here on the SE for 14 and also going through the apps right here in their intelligently organized fashion of folders here. We can go ahead and click something here and you could see opens up just fine. So it's looking pretty good here for SE users who are gonna stay with their one hand phone here this year. So let's go ahead and see how we add widgets here. And you can see if I edit home screen, I hit the plus sign, you could see we have that same widgets section that we have in the newer phones as well. And you'll be able to add your widgets. Now I don't have every Apple app installed here. You would see more. And as more apps populate your device and developers get the widgets ready for iOS 14, you should have more available for SE. You could see this one right here, whatever that was, is kind of a little bit bugged out right there. But at the same time, just having widget support here is pretty sweet for the SE at four inches, really like that. Now, did we slow down at all when it comes to web performance here on the SE? And it doesn't really look like it. Pinch the zooming's pretty smooth, so this is still a 4G LTE phone. Let's go to a website right here. You can see pretty decent performance. Of course, it's quicker on the newer phones, but still not bad here when it comes to the you know device here is performance in the internet so i'm pretty happy about what i'm seeing here so far and i gotta say that the phone is actually not draining battery too fast here on 14. i mean it's still worse than a lot of other iphones but even 13 made the battery worse on the se so it's not like it's looking any worse here this is still not your biggest capacity but man the browsing is still super smooth still smoother than some newer android devices on this older iphone se i'm not even kidding with you it's a very smooth experience still okay guys so let's take a look at picture in picture and see how it performs and you can see you have your picture in picture here for the se you can see you can make a bigger screen there and you can go ahead and do something else in the background while you are using the picture in picture you can also slide this thing over to the left to make sure that you know you don't want to get it in the way and you can still hear the audio and bring it over so picture in picture works fantastic here at least in this first beta for the initial iphone se from 2016 pretty sweet okay so one thing i noticed about the se on 14 is the camera didn't get those features where you can kind of pull up change aspect ratio change your video settings at least not in this first beta so it's not getting that here maybe it will never get that we'll have to see so there's definitely gonna be some sacrifices here. You also can't hold down and do the slide over to get the video. So definitely not gonna get every single thing from the newer iPhones on this one. So testing the fingerprint speed here, let's see if there's any delay or hiccups getting into the 14 software. And you could see no big issues here whatsoever once again. So. Yeah, that's looking pretty good as well on the SE for 14. Well, I also like to look at the control center because this is an area where the 5S started lagging up quite a bit as we got on newer versions. And you could see still no lag here when pulling 
that up or pulling the notifications panel down either. No lag, still very fast. And if we hold down, quick shortcuts, you can see everything still going quite quickly here. Not too much delay on these devices. So you're gonna be good to go there. You're not gonna experience too much of a delay at all in that respect. Now swiping over to the today view section, you can see we don't have any delay or hiccups there either. So very happy with, you could just see this phone is still smooth here uh, with this newer software. Pretty nice for a first beta. Let's go over here to battery, which means it's looking pretty promising, at least from a performance standpoint. Uh, battery life, we'll have to do more tests on that to see but definitely not seeing it drain too much. It doesn't feel too warm to the touch. Yeah, a little hot compared to more efficient, newer phones, but still it doesn't feel too hot. Like it's not burning my hand or anything like that. And let's go ahead and download an application here, Pinterest, for example, to see how fast it can do that or if there's any hiccups or you know bugs or anything like that when downloading applications for 14 on the iPhone SE. And you could see relatively quick performance there when installing an application. So it's about to be installed right there and then you go ahead and go inside of that. Also, you do get the new Siri on here as well. So we'll turn on Siri and then you'll see it'll appear at the bottom right there. In addition, if we go into settings, you will still have the home screen ability to add apps only to the app library. So you can make your minimal small iPhone SE even more minimal. Okay, and let's also take a look at the IMS's performance. Hey. This is a test, so you can see it works just fine here. We don't have any real delay when typing. A lot of times when the iPhones get really old, their keyboards start to lag up and you can't really type that well, and it gets very frustrating, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be a problem here. Also, you can now search emojis on the iPhone SE as well, so it does retain that feature from some of the newer iPhones. And then if we go over here, one thing that's neat here about this phone is that you can also still do the Memojis here, you can't, kind of, you, they're like stickers. You can't really like use the face ID cause there's no face ID on here, but you can at least hit the add sign right here, the plus. So there's a little bit of a delay right there. Again, I am gonna blame it on the beta because it's still beta software. It probably won't do that in the official, but you can still create some stuff here on the SE. So that's pretty fun with an iMessage. iMessage still thumbs up here for iOS 14. And the final thing I want to do as we're just looking at how does it run here in this episode is the Geekbench test. So let's go back to Geekbench. And I'm going to go ahead and run the CPU benchmark to see what kind of scores we produce here on 14 for the SE. I'll be back when it is done. Okay, guys, so we've actually produced some pretty atrocious scores in Geekbench with a 545 on the single and a 905 on the multi, but I assure you the actual experience is not as bad as that would indicate. Also, I just want to state that you're not gonna get everything on the SE for 14. It still runs pretty good, but you're not gonna get everything. You do get app clips, but like for example, if we go over to X accessibility on the iPhone 11 or the 10s Max here, if I go to touch, you'll see we have this cool feature called tap back. That's not available where you can tap the back and do different functions. That's not available here in the SE. If we go to touch here, you don't see the back tap feature on there. So that's just a quick example um, of something you're just not gonna get. Also, like I said earlier, the cameras definitely have the newer features right here in some newer iPhones that weren't initially in them either. So, you know, you do get some benefits of having the newer iPhone. But the iPhone SE, how does it run? In conclusion, it runs pretty good for being a four-year-old phone. And, you know, this design is pretty iconic here for the iPhone SE, and we're probably gonna see the squared off edges come back this year. And if you're an iPhone SE user and you're like, this is all I'm using right now, and is it gonna work this year? Yeah, it's probably gonna work. It did drain quite a bit of battery life, and I don't expect it to be amazing in that department, but at least your phone is still gonna be usable once again on the latest software proving time and time again why if you care about keeping your phone for the long haul, Apple's definitely gonna be the phone choice for you. So let me know your thoughts. If you've downloaded for your SE 2016, let us know how it's running, what the battery life has been like, have you ran into any bugs, and stay tuned because I plan to do more in this How Does It Run series for some other older iPhones on 14. And Beta 2 for iOS 14 is probably also arriving sometime next week, if not a week after that. So stay tuned. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to stay safe, stay well, and peace.